Hey, what's up? I just wanted to show you guys my new racking system that I got back here. Um, it holds 11 little tanks. Um, it holds 10, um, two and a half gallons and one 10 gallon tank. Um, so let's see what I got in there. All right, in this top rack, I just have a bunch of um, egg holding bins where I'm trying to hatch out some killifish eggs. Let's see, I don't know if you can see them. But um, let's see, this is the Fundalo Panchex um, gold spawning mop and there's a bunch of eggs in there so I threw those in there. And then the next one over is the regular colored Fundalo Panchex gardener eye killifish. And there's some eggs in here ready to hatch in about a couple weeks. So that's what I have going on on the top rack and then um, when I have some more eggs I can fill the other two. Those two are just waiting. All right, and this um, this 10 gallon tank here, I have um, my Opistogramma cockatoides, the pair that I decided to keep from my first um, batch of fry. Um, so I picked out a, a nice male right here. And one of the only females that I got from that batch as well. It's really hard to get one of those. So, um, Hopefully they mate for me. I have their trusty coconut and kind of an interesting tank with this um, center division there. Um, the reason for that is there's an undergraver filter so that this um, side could act as a filter and this side is just a bare bottom. Um, but actually I have, I have that disconnected for now because um, I needed the gravel for something else so I took a bunch out. All right, let's see what we have on the next rack over here. All right, here I have a, a pair of killifish. I think these are um, Northobrachius um, gunther eyes. These are annual killifish species. And I'm pretty sure they look really fat right now because I just fed them some brine shrimp. But I'm um, pretty sure I saw them spawning um, in that peat moss dish that I have there. Um, so at some point, maybe in a week or so, I'll be wringing that um, moss out and then um, storing them for a couple months, I think, to um, incubate them and see if I can hatch some eggs. Because um, these guys only live for a year or two, so hopefully I'm able to do that. All right, in this tank, I have a pair of um, Fundalo Panchex gunner eyes. Uh, these are kind of just a, a young pair, but um, they already had gave some eggs in that spawning mop that I showed up above. So I put another one um, so that they can lay more eggs for me. Oh yeah, that's those guys. Okay, and then the next tank over, I just have a holding tank of some multifasciatus shellies in here. Which um, I'm just holding in here because um, I'm going to sell them to someone locally. So um, I pulled them out of the main tank. So they're not going to be in here for too long. Alright, and on this bottom rack I have um, several tanks um, that I'm holding some mud skippers. Oh, I picked up a group of mud skippers that I, I plan on sending to um, some friends in the mainland because evidently it's kind of hard um, to get some mudskippers up there and um, I had these available so uh, I should be shipping these out next week so they're not gonna be in these little tanks for very long but I thought I'll just hold them to fatten them up because they were just shipped in so I figured um, I'll give them a little break from shipping before I ship them back out but yeah, that's all I'm keeping in um, my new rack I'm gonna have as um, soon as I get rid of these guys um, these tanks should be free so if you guys have any suggestions of what I should be keeping in these tanks um, let me know in the comments what you think oh and here's an update on my beta chinoides um, first batch of fry um, they're pretty much ready um, to go these fries are pretty um, grown out by now um, I don't know if you can really tell what size they are but 
they're almost fully grown so I'm happy about that there's a bunch in here and then um, here's the second batch over here there's a I think this batch was a little bit bigger and then um, only a couple weeks younger I have a third batch over here but yeah. as you can see they're a little bit smaller and then to my surprise I found out that I have some um, Ocelotus Shelly Fry in this tank let's see if I can find some of these babies they like to hide as soon as they, they see the camera and there's here this little one right here cute little boogers and um oh I saw a bunch just hide in the shell back there but they're there so I'm happy about that but yeah that's all I have for today I just want to show you a quick update on my uh, little rack that we have here and as I said before if you have any suggestions on um, any ideas on what I could keep in these little aquariums let me know thanks for watching hope you enjoyed mm -hmm.